Hi there! So today we are going to be talking about a YouTuber named Taylor, also known as The Tayla. And she is a beauty YouTuber who I have been watching for several years now. And I have found throughout the years that she has recommended some staple products in my makeup collection. And I wanted to dedicate a full video to those because they have been some of my favorite, like I said, staple products in my collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what I have got to show you. So first we'll go ahead and talk about a recommended primer. And it is the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. So now keep in mind that there are two of these. There is a white shade and then there's a kind of pinky tone shade. And this is the one that Taylor recommends. Um, I really find that this one smooths out my skin and does in fact reduce the, the look and appearance of my pores, which is really nice, especially in this area on my face. So I, I feel like it kind of gives like a blurred effect and I think it holds on to my foundation really well and I quite like this foundation. So I'm super glad that I picked it up. This is kind of one that floated under the radar for me, but I'm glad that I was able to have Taylor's recommendation and to pick it up because I quite like it. So next we have a couple foundations and Taylor is known for her 15 days of foundation series, which you should definitely go check out because it's absolutely awesome. Um, you know, she's really dedicated when it comes to giving a thorough review on a foundation. She says that it's one of her favorite things to review. So 15 days of foundation, I'll go ahead and link her channel down below, obviously. And so first off, we have the CYO Long Lasting Foundation. Recently, Taylor did a declutter video and you see in her collection that she has a multitude of these. So she loves it, needless to say. And I actually really do love it too. Um, it's really nice. The color is very neutral, which I really, really like. And it really has kind of a soft matte finish. And I really do find that enjoyable. But I also love to pair it up with... Um, foundations as well. Which brings me to the next foundation, which is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. And this is in the shade 510 Fair. And I don't think I mentioned the shade of the CYO. It's 101. And so this one is a really light coverage foundation, but I lo absolutely love this one. I think this is my second or third tube of this. Very inexpensive drugstore find. And I love mixing it with matte foundations, just like that CYO foundation. It's what I have on my face today. And I am truly comfortable with wearing, you know, this combo all day. And I know that it'll look good at the end of the day. And I won't have to worry about, you know, touching up constantly or anything like that. So those are two solid finds from the drugstore. And I am very excited that she had recommended those. Next up is the Manic Panic Dream Tone Flawless Foundation and Color Corrector. So this is in the shade Virgin, Whitest White. Yeah, that's what it says on the back. And this one, for a pale skin person like me, is very much needed. There are tons of foundations that are really too dark. Even their lightest shade is too dark. So I have used this quite a bit um, just to lighten those foundations so that I can use them without looking too much like a Noompa Loompa, you know? And I find that if I don't use too much of this, I am just fine and it doesn't mess with the consistency of the foundation. So it's not compromising, you know, the finish that you're getting. So it's a really wonderful product. And I got this one on Amazon. I don't think you can get it in stores, but I could be wrong. Either way, I got it on Amazon and it wasn't too expensive either. So next up we have a powder. And this is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Face Powder in Translucent. So that's here. I find that I can use this powder under my eyes as well as over my face and I don't feel like it messes with the, the color or darkens it, if anything, under my eyes. So I quite like this one and this is actually the second one that I have purchased. It's a really great powder. It's really soft feeling and it doesn't look cakey on the skin. It feels really light and I absolutely love it. It does have a lot of um, powder kick up so I think you do go through it a little bit quicker because it's not so hard pressed. But either way, it's a really great drugstore find and you can always, it seems that you can always find Physician's Formula on sale at the drugstore. So that's awesome. 
Next, we'll move on to some more powders. And I have here, let's go with the bronzer. So I wanted the Hula Light Bronzer for a while, but I'm cheap, as I have said previously. And I didn't want to shell out $29 for a bronzer that I thought that I might like, you know? I try to avoid returning things if I can. So this was a product that Taylor actually mentioned was a dupe for the Hula Light. And when I saw that, heard that the price was drugstore, I was completely in and I went out and purchased it right away. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, um, Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder. And this specifically is in the shade 310 Sun Beige. And if you have a really fair skin tone, just as Taylor does, just as I do, um, this is a great color. It's really subtle, so it's not like a bam, you're bronze, but it's very subtle and it works well. And like I said, she did um, a comparison with this and the Hula Light and did like a swatch comparison and they looked exactly like it. So I have found that I don't need the Hula, the Hula Light and I'm totally okay with this one. It's absolutely beautiful. And when I do go through this one, I will repurchase it. And I also like, um, oh, it's actually right in front of me. Oh, I actually liked the 110 powder as well. And this is closer to my shade and I love it for setting under the eyes. I think it's really brightening. So next up is the Physician's Formula. And I forget the full name of this, but I will, along with everything else, list these all down below. And this is a highlighter palette that Taylor highly recommended and has used for quite a while. And you can mix all these together, obviously, but I like to use these two rows right here. And this highlighter is completely underrated. Sadly, it's in really bulky packaging. Nevertheless, it's absolutely beautiful. And for the longest time, it was a, a brand that I kind of skipped over, but I had no idea that they had such good things. So I'm glad that I purchased that one. So next up we have the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette and it is in the shade Sugar and Spice. And this one's really nice. And it has, I think this one, there's one kind of like shimmery shade and then the rest are matte. So this is the somewhat shimmery shade and the rest are matte. And then you have these baked colors down here which can be used as highlighters or blush toppers. And Taylor actually mentioned this a really long time ago in one of her videos. And that was when I first kind of was getting to know Makeup Revolution. And yes, it's either hit or miss with their products, but this one is definitely a hit. These blushes are so pigmented, but still easily blendable. And I really enjoy this palette very much so. And the colors can, can seem a little bright and scary, but a lot of the times what I do is that I'll mix like a really bright pink with a very neutral color and I find that I get some really nice um, looks with that and it's what I have on today. So next up we have um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now this is one of my absolute favorites and for the longest time I thought, you know, why the heck do I need a really expensive water? What is it going to do for me? But Taylor had always um, you know, primed with this and then set her face with it. So Curiosity kind of just got the best of me and I bought it and I haven't looked back since. I really like this primer water and I feel that I don't necessarily use it as a primer, but I use it as a finishing spray. And I feel like since I have combo oily skin and I, I use a lot of powders on my face to set everything, that once I put this on, it really melts everything together and it helps my look go from borderline cakey to, you know, really, really nice looking. And I definitely contribute it, contribute that to using this. So now we will go ahead and talk about eyeshadow palettes. So I have three here that specifically make me think of Taylor in the way that I know that I wouldn't have bought it without her recommendation. So, and those are some strong words, you guys. I But I really, truly do mean it. Like, for instance, this first palette is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. So it came, it was, um, I want to say close to the $50 range. Maybe a little, a few dollars, give or take. But 
I didn't think I needed it because like the name states, it's ultimate basics, you know, it's just a basic palette. But then Taylor had talked about it in one of her videos and she mentioned that she felt the same way, you know, that it's such a typical boring palette, don't quote me, but she found herself using it every day. And then it went on sale after I had seen that video and I snatched it up because I, you know, I really trust her recommendations, which is why we're here. <laughs> but I was excited to get this in my hands and I really don't regret that purchase whatsoever. Um, I find that, you know, if I have an all shimmer palette, I will pull this one out of my drawer and use it and I really do think these are quality eyeshadows, so I am super stoked that I got this and that I got this on sale. I love a good sale. So next up, we have the Pure Trolls palette. And this was um, when the Trolls movie first came out, and I hadn't seen it yet. Um, so I actually, funny thing, I bought the Pure My Little Pony palette, but eventually returned to that palette because I didn't like the quality of it. And then um, I had seen Taylor mention this palette in a video and she did an eye look with it or she had an eye look on already and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And when I saw this on sale on the Pure website, I had to get it. And on camera, it just really doesn't do it justice, but this palette has some really unique shades in it. And the names are so cute as well. There's like Karma, Snack Pack, Pop Icon, DJ Suki, and if you haven't seen the movie, then you probably can't appreciate the names as much, but I have seen the movie since, and it's so adorable, and it's one of my daughter's favorite movies ever, and it was non-stop on replay, you know, for a good solid few months, and so now it holds that special kind of sentimental value, and I don't think I'll get rid of it, but I'm very, very glad that I picked it up when I could because now it's discontinued. So lastly, we have a palette that's still kind of controversial. Um, when it first came out, you know, it was easy to hate on it because one, it was Morphe and two, it was Jaclyn Hill and three, it was Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And we live in a really sad world where people just love to hate others and... Either way, I was just so torn and I didn't buy it right away because I didn't want to give in to the hype of it all. Um, because, you know, Jaclyn Hill is a huge YouTuber and she she pulls a lot of weight in the beauty community still, I think. And I'm kind of neutral. Like, I, I don't watch her her videos or whatnot. And it's, it's for no solid reason other than just, like, she's... I don't know. She's just not relatable to me, I guess. Um, she uses a lot of high-end stuff, which is completely okay. I'm not judging anyone who does. I have high-end stuff as well as drugstore, but she's just not relatable to me in the way that, like, Taylor and, like, Emily Noel are. So I don't watch her videos, but I was, I was interested in this palette, and then I heard mixed reviews, so then I just, you know, I just decided not to buy it. But then I heard... Taylor talk about this and she had great things to say about it and I thought that her um, opinion wouldn't be swayed by you know the whole hype thing and whatnot because I really do trust that she recommends what she likes and so I picked up the Jaclyn Hill palette on her recommendation she had mentioned Taylor had mentioned that she took this on vacation with her I believe and she found that you know it had everything that she needed so I too picked it up <laughs> And I really do feel like it has such a variety of colors. Obviously, you have your warms, you can do like pops of color and whatnot. You can go light, you can go dark, daytime, nighttime, all that jazz. And I do not regret this purchase whatsoever. It's what I have on my eyes today along with the, the Stila Glitter and Glow Shadow. And I absolutely love this palette and I'm very glad that I followed her recommendation on that one. I want to mention this Stila Glitter and Glow and it's a liquid eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma. Now the one that I saw Taylor wearing was in the shade, I think it's Diamond Dust, but I could be wrong. Either way, it was more of like a silvery tone. This one was in a Sephora Favorites kit and the kit was a really good price and came with a lot of other um, really great products. So I was excited to try this because I saw it on Taylor and she rocked it 
and it really took her eyeshadow look to the next level and of course I was hesitant to purchase it because it was $24 for a liquid eyeshadow and I wasn't I didn't even know if I liked liquid eyeshadows at the time so I kind of waited on that one again when it came in that Sephora's favorite kit I jumped right on it and I am so excited to have this in my collection. So lastly, guys, we have lips. So I have three options. So I have three products that I specifically can um, confirm that Taylor helped me buy. <laughs> One of them is Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Lipstick in the shade Nourishing Plum. Is this and she recently did a shadow and schmooze which is kind of like a get ready with me type style video that she has on her channel and it was a new year's one so she was going pretty glam and she wanted a vampy lip and she wore this one and when I saw it on her I just knew that I had to have it I had always been curious about this um, formula and had heard good things about it and kind of never just pulled the trigger on it you know but when I saw this shade, I knew I had to have it and I wanted to rock it as much as she did. <laughs> so here it is. And I find that I really do like it. It's a super comfortable formula. It doesn't feel like you're wearing much at all. Like it's not heavy or gloopy or too sticky. I was excited for that recommendation. So in that same video, she actually mentioned um, Maybelline's Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. And she had mentioned um, two other shades that I can't think of at the top of my head. I think one was Groundbreaker or and Founder. I could be wrong. Go ahead and check out her channel. But I didn't want a darker color because I was getting the Physicians Formula one. And I have tons of reds, even though it looked like a really nice red that she recommended. So I wanted to get a neutral color that I could wear every day and kind of go through faster. So I got 65 Seductress and I wore this the other day and it was so comfortable and it really did last all day without having that like really dry, that really dry lipped feeling when you wear a matte liquid lipstick. So I'm super stoked and I might pick up a few more shades. Lastly, one of my favorite lipsticks that she has recommended so far on her channel is uh, the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer and this specifically is in the shade Tease. So for a few of her videos, she was wearing this consistently and she would always mix it with other lipsticks and today I did just that. I mixed it with this CoverGirl shade in... 260 which is in my project pan video side note you should check it out <laughs> but um i mixed it with this which is a pink color and then this one on top of it and that's the look that i have on today and it's so amazing for that reason i absolutely love pairing this with other lipsticks and i don't find that it's too much um, you know, it's too much on the lips like there's too many layers I don't feel that way at all and it stays on it has a really good hold to it So I absolutely love this I would always see Taylor with the with this shade on and I loved it every single time no matter what she mixed it with so I think because I can mix it with other things that I would I'm more prone to use it that way if that makes sense so That's it guys. I mean these are some amazing products and she Taylor recommended them and I'm recommending them as well. I really do find them to be a lot of staples in my, um, you know, makeup collection, like the foundations and the primer water. They're stuff that I, they are stuff that I have been using since she recommended them. So it wasn't just like, a, I bought it, I tried it, I disregarded it. No, these are products that I really do truly love and I can understand why she would highly recommend them as well. And I hope this video was entertaining. If so, please give it a thumbs up because that really does help this channel a lot. And I am still a small YouTuber and I'm trying to grow. And if you have any suggestions, suggestions of videos that I can do, please leave them down below. Any comments that you may have. Have you tried any of this stuff as well? If so, do you love it? I would love to hear from you guys. Um, Thank you so much for, you know, watching it. Hopefully this video hasn't been too long, but thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, just remember to stay kind and be awesome, all right? Bye, guys.